Leo Tolstoy, a Russian writer who is regarded one of the greatest authors of all time. This is the third time I'm speaking about Leo Tolstoy. Leo Tolstoy said, everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. And if you look deeper into this one, it has been repeated several thousand times by several great, great leaders. Many, many times. And the moment they say within seconds, people are corrupted by massive bombardment of the state sanctioned, state authorized, state sponsored. We call it terrorism by bombarding the kids and the people, by attracting them with the huge lights thinking these are the flies, they get attracted to come to the cities and we use them and misuse them by showing them big thing and then take it from the back side. Like the shepherd takes the sheep to the butcher's house and he turns around and tells the second flock, look I am taking them to see God, to heaven. And he comes back from the other side of the door of the butcher's shop. And he said, everybody, God has accepted them into the heaven. Come follow me. And that was the industrial revolution tactic which has made people a nobody. When Leo also said, everybody thinks of changing the world. But no one thinks of changing himself. Everybody wants to change everything. They know everything about the politicians corrupt practices, the religious leaders corrupt practices. They know everything and anything what is happening bad in the society. And they have answers for everything what they say after the ship has sunk, everybody knows how to save it. And the society has been built up like that to always talk after the ship has sunk, everybody knows how to save it. And this was the Tactic followed by every educational institutions, every colleges, every professional course, courses. Give big money and take it from the back door. Take them to the butcher shop and come back from the other side. And people are still thinking, we are, we are, we are. And the end what they got it was for 5 crore, 25 crore. They got a pigeon hole with restrictions, restrictions in the moment. Restrictions of their people walking inside the place. Everything is non-stop checked. They are in the jail. The pigeonhole jail of big mansions. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. It is like the parrot story. Parrot was sitting inside the cage, the golden cage. And screaming, freedom, freedom, freedom. And the one person goes, opens the cage. But parrot refuses to come out. He puts his hand, takes the parrot and leaves him free. But after two hours, he found the same parrot again sitting in the same cage and screaming, freedom, freedom, freedom. And the parrot story and the people in the apartments, pigeonhole apartments, in the mansions with the security guards surrounding them, they are self-proclaimed jail inmates. They wanted to be jailed. They wanted people to... A sadist nature, you can call it by the people. All sadist nature comes from the education, forced education. When there is no... There is nothing like a practical feeling, practical examiner, practical studies. Practical studies comes from your houses. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. Repeated several times... Mahatma Gandhi was a great follower of Leo Tolstoy. He kept on changing, kept on telling, you be the change for the change you ask for. 
that means you go back to your house and change and the world changes you be the change for change you asked for how much can i do you got the strength of a thousand men warrior you are a power Mahatma Gandhi said, you go back to the villages, if you don't go back to the village, I myself will walk into the village, show you, show you how to drink the goat's milk is more powerful. You don't have to beg for the cow's milk. You don't have to go to the hospitals, naturally, just to earth and the sky and the sunlight is enough, beautiful. You can solve almost all the diseases when you walk in the field and walk in the field, people never understood. Then came Ramana Maharshi said, ask who am I? And people thought, he just sit in meditation, ask, no, no, no. He said, ask who am I means after you have worked very, very hard, looks like a person, powerful. And then you don't even have to ask, knock on the door, shall be open. you don't even have to knock, it's open. You don't even have to ask who am I, the world knows who you are. Such was the power, but Ramana Moshe, what happened with Ramana Moshe? He himself was walking weak and people thought, if he's weak without interest, I should also walk without, without doing any exercise, without doing any hard labor, and I can blur something, and the world will think I'm a great uh, Maharishi, a great uh, saint. And that is killed. And same followed with Ramakrishna Paramahams, even though he said, it's in the seed. In a seed, you can see a big tree. He told Swami Vivekananda, and every monkey thought what he said was truth. It is a seed, you have to put it in a proper. No, no, you, what Ramakrishna Paramahams has said is, you are a bloody seed. And inside that seed, a huge tree meant a thousand man warrior is there. Monkey go and work hard and then you see God. I can show you God. You cannot just ask me God. You have to put the seed in proper soil. You have to sweat it out into the field. Work very hard. An orgasmic experience comes. That orgasmic experience is very close to Sador. That Sador is very close to you enlightening you. Enlightenment come. You become enlightened. And in that enlightenment, what else you see is true. For every question that an answer flows, it strikes with thinking and then people think that you are God. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. Mother Teresa said, when one person went and asked him, Mother, there are so much problems in the world. How come I create peace in the world? Mother Teresa said, please go back home and first create peace in your house. Then please go back home and love your wife and children. Work together. Show them that you are a task. They do not have to even think whether you are a husband or a man who is going to bring food for them. They know by looking at you and you work. You go to the office, you come back and you sleep. Death. You go back to your offices, you come back home and you work very hard. Even in the end, then they know. You are a Tars, you are a power man. You do not have to prove that you are the father of the house, head of the family. You do not have to even prove you are a husband. You do not have to carry the certificate and show everybody, I am a husband, I am a husband. No. You have worked back at home. It is possible. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. Change. For changing, you have to go back to Sanskrit. When you practice the Sanskrit, every father and mother's duty is not to become a friend to your child, but to become a friend, a lover to your child. Not a friend to your child, you have to become a lover to your Sanskrit. When you become a lover, you become a friend to your Sanskrit, you become respectful to some. You are just changing the respect and love. You have put change the love and put respect there to avoid the love. Throw that respect out. Put the love into your samskriti. When you put your love into your samskriti, you know you have to accept the world. You have to be with the nature. When you become you and the nature together is powerful. When you and the nature becomes powerful, like what Jiddu Krishnamurti said, when you lose the deep intimate relationship with nature, then what else you get? Then temples, churches, masjids become very important. With all cooks, cheaters, robbers, all becomes very important. Materials of the world become important. Televisions and mobiles become very important. All tech glitters becomes very important. Everyone thinks of changing the world. When you go back, you do your Sanskrit early morning. Early morning, that is the Sanskrit of India. That early morning when you get up, you practice your vocal cords by singing the bhajan. You brush your teeth. 
You gargle the mouth, you rinse the mouth 18 times, nostril blow, pranayama, stomach pumpings, and loma viloma. Then you light the lamp together with your wife and children. You clean the house, you look at the, wait for the sun goddess to come, sun to come, sun to rise, awake, rise, stop not to the goal, is reached. So many women say, awake, you got to awake to rise to see the sun rising. And when you see the sun rise, you open your heart and the body and you see the rays of the sun entering your body to kill all the cancer cells, all the poisons out from your body, cleansing your whole body. You sweat it out and do a Surya Namaskar. And with that energy, with your wife and the children, you run up to the land. You grow vegetables and fruit. You have found the power. Everyone thinks of changing the world. Leo told says, but no one thinks of changing him. Change. You be the change for change. You ask for. You have the power to change. I will give you the power to change. Listen to what? Listen, open your ears and listen. Stop, switch off your mobile for some time. Switch off the TV for some time. And don't show respect to your wife or husband. Just love. Don't work for respect. Just love. And you can change, you can feel. But if you have to see the change, don't take the seed and put it in proper soil and water it up. That seed is you. You have to grow to become a big tree, powerful tree. You are a small seed. is still a small seed without any mass. The small seed, heavy seed, the big tree. Show me your big tree. If you cannot show me your big tree, I will show you. Come together. We can wipe out more tears and bring down hunger. Knock on the door should be open. Oh, no, you don't even have to knock. People see your power. They open all the doors. Ask who am I? Some around Ramana Marshi said, Ramana Marshi and Namkasha Paramahamsa physically look very, very weak. That was the problem. Everybody thought if they are weak, they are wearing dirty dresses, they are wearing uh, half naked fakir without doing any work. They are giving lectures and all the whole world thinking the great Maharishis. India became poor. Now I am telling, they do not mean that. Ramana Marshi said, ask means, ask, show. People, you don't even have to ask, who am I? People know by looking at your strength and the hard labor when you come back from the office. The wife now knows. You will run to do all the maintenance work. You grow the organic vegetables and fruits and you make facilities that the rain, when the rain comes, rainwater can go to the beautiful pond. You run up to the, to the roof to find out when the solar panels are working very beautiful, how much uh, solar energy you are able to collect. That is who am I? Knock and the door shall be open. Jesus said, you don't have to even knock. The way you walk people, I when I walked, when I went to North Karnataka, uh, I went to Kerehali, I went to Banwasi. I just walked on the street, I just walked on the street and people were cry alone. I didn't carry people, I didn't carry houses of the houses. When I reached the, uh, the, the um, Deepa's grandfather's house, he said, why are you late? I said, I thought of walking. And house to house, they were dragging me inside. Please, please, Guruji, keep your uh, feet inside. Please, I want to touch. Such was, I'm not telling you I'm strong, but I did work hard. If I can work hard, I just a simple beggar can work. Yeah, if a simple beggar can walk in Banwasi and people can drag me into houses just to make me to, to, to keep my feet inside and they said they are blessed, they are begging and crying. I have to go house of the house of the house, people are dragging me inside. I am a beggar. I worked hard and uh, I do not have to tell who am I. You can. You have the power to change and change. Go back to your family. Your family is strong. Then you do not have to fear whether the joint family is going to look after you, will, will respect you or will give you love. You first give love, love follows you. You suspect, suspicion follows you. Then you can see the tall tree standing tall with the roots deep down. That is called your family tree. Come join hands with me. You have the power to change. I'm telling you, you have the power to change. I can see your power. You are a power. You are a magnifying power. You are a diamond. Come if you do not know to clean it. I will polish it.